Hi, I hope that you are doing well. The layout in the editor is different from the preview and published design of blog posts. In the Gutenberg editor, the images and headings are aligned center except for the third heading which is aligned left but the published post is showing all the pictures and headings with zero margin on the left side to find the reason right click anywhere on the published post page and click on the inspect option select this mouse pointer option click on the image block and here we can see that the align center class is applied on the figure block. In the styles tab, we have observed that any styling sheet file does not override the align center class. So the first reason for the mismatch layout is that the align center class properties are missing. We will discuss two different reasons for the mismatch layout and solutions for both the reasons. We are using Elementor as a page builder and perf matters to disable unused assets. The first reason for the issue and its solution is related to perf matters. Open perf matters script manager by clicking on the script manager option in the top bar. Here we have disabled the unused scripts and CSS files to optimize the pages. After carefully analyzing the scripts, we found that the WP block library is disabled across the website. This library is required for Gutenberg stylings. So keep the CSS disabled everywhere except the block posts by clicking on the posts option in the exceptions section. It will load the library only where it is used, that is the single block post pages. Save the changes by clicking on the save button. Now refresh the page and everything is back to its correct position. There will be no more alignment issues for any blog post in the Gutenberg editor across the website. Let's move to the second reason and its solution. Open the admin dashboard. Go to the posts. Click on the preview button. For this blog post, the image style property is set to round in the Gutenberg editor. But the preview mode does not show the image round borders. To find the reason, again right click anywhere on the page and open the chrome inspection window. A style rounded class is applied on the block which should display round borders for the image. Investigate the style properties for the figure block. Let's open this file by clicking on the file name. Search for the eStyle rounded class and it is present in the style.min.css file which means that the properties are not missing but are overwritten by some other CSS file. After carefully observing the figure block style properties, we found that the Elementor frontend.min.css file is overwriting the WP block library round image styles. One solution is to disable the Elementor frontend.min.css file for the block post to check whether the block post layout is correct without this file or not. So I am disabling this file using perf matters. Save the changes. Refresh the page. And the layout is completely non-functional without the Elementor front end CSS file.
Let's enable the file again because we cannot disable it for the website where Elementary is used as the primary page builder. So in this case, the solution is custom CSS. Open the admin dashboard. Go to the appearance tab and click on the customize option. Open additional CSS window. Write the class name preceding with a dot that represents the class name in CSS. Copy the eStyle rounded class properties and paste them in additional CSS. The border radius is 9999 pixels for the image inside each style rounded class. Publish the changes and refresh the blog post page. The images are now showing in the correct size. Close the customizer window. We need to clear the cache to update the view for the end users. We are using WP Rocket. So open WP Rocket from the settings tab in the admin dashboard. Click on the clear cache button. Wait for 10 seconds after clicking on the clear cache button. After that Click on the preload cache and then the regenerate critical CSS button. Allow it for 1 minute to preload cache and regenerate the CSS files. Now open the website in incognito mode by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus N in combination. Let's open the first two blog posts to test the updated layout. In the first blog post, everything is ok. The images and headings are aligned center, similar to the Gutenberg editor layout. And the second blog post is also identical to the editor layout styles. The custom CSS method will work for all the websites, whether your website is WP Bakery, Elementor, Divi or any page builder. If you love gorgeous printables for all your goal setting needs, vision boards, planners and unique designs, then visit keepyourvision.com now and get your vision designs at the lowest price with unlimited download. The link is given in the video description. Comment your feedback suggestions and let me know if you are still facing the Gutenberg editor layout mismatch issue. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.